Hi, this is Patrice from Audio Excellence. I would like to talk about loudspeaker designs and more specifically on one topic which is the high frequency component selection. This is something that you may have seen already. It's a tweeter, more precisely a dome tweeter, that is found on most hi-fi designs, I would say about more than 90%, and there are some good reasons for that. The first good reason is that it's got generally a fairly even frequency response. It's got um, a very damped uh, behavior, and so it is very easy to filter. So crossover design is quite straightforward. It gives pleasant result to hearing. Listening is pleasant, so a few directivity issues, but uh, this is not of big importance in uh, home application and residential listening. The average sensitivity of this type of Twitter is 90 dB, 1 watt at 1 meter, fairly typical of hi-fi loudspeakers. Now, um, its power handling is typically 20 watts, so if you do the math, you will find that the maximum level it can produce is 103 dB at 1 meter, at full power. Less maybe 3 or 4 dB for com thermal compression, so you end up with something like 99 dB or 100 dB at that 1 meter which is good enough for listening to recorded music. However, we are talking here about home cinema. Home cinema is supposed to provide the same levels as cinema, meaning it is standardized at a maximum level of 105 dB at seating position. Seating position is typically four meters away, on average, from the loudspeakers. Four meters is four times the distance which is given for measurement, given at one meter. When you increase the distance by a factor of four, you lose 12 dB. So if this one is capable of 100 dB at one meter, it is only providing 88 dB at average seating position in a home cinema. So, sorry. Now, let's have a look at this. This is a compression driver and horn assembly. It provides a sensitivity of 108 decibels at one meter. Quite another story. So if it handles only 20 watts, then the maximum level at one meter will be 121 dB at one meter. Remove 12 dB for the distance, you're still far beyond the 105 dB required. So not only this, does the job, but it provides headroom. Of course, it's a bit more expensive and a bit more complicated to filter at the crossover. However, this is our problem. But this is why we adopt only this type of high frequency drivers in our screen loudspeakers. The three loudspeakers, left, center, right, which are meant to be behind the screen because this is the only way to get the proper sound pressure level out of the speakers without distortion and without a risk to damage the loudspeakers. If you want to know more about our loudspeakers and our audio products, just register on our website, www.audio-excellence.net. Thank you for listening.